All praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to Apostle Elders in New York, GMS. Citation to Yahweh around the world is teaching truth in your last whole line for us. Shout out to you, serious sisters. My name is Maya Ka'ala Bun God. Like make a disclaimer that we are not black Hebrew Israelites. We are Israelites. The Israelites are the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American, and speckled birds scattered abroad. Speckled birds are Israelites who look like other nations, but their father's paternal bloodline. Go back to the 12 tribes of Israel. All right. Um, we are not fitted with any black identity string groups. We are not fitted with any militant fringe groups. We are not fitted with any Islamic groups. We are not fitted with any other Islamic groups. All right, man. So, you know, um, this is something that um, Esau's not going to read. You uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right. This is the article from TazIsrael.com. Because, see, when you brought us, man, for now, man, you brought us, man. You, I, I'm just giving you a suggestion, man. When you deal with uh, two thirds of our people and these these heathens, the way the vocab alone, all right, uh, the, the rest of these these uh, these are uh, misfits, all right. What you do, man? You need to get the articles like these, man, and the other websites I'm gonna show you, man, to to uh, top of them, man. You know, cause they always say, you know, uh, about the so-called Negro Latino Native American, how long your people been practicing these customs? You know, you know uh, that, you know, why is they, uh, you know, oh yeah, my people practice customs for thousand years, man. All right, but it's prophesized that what that that Israel should discontinue to their heritage. Read Jeremiah seventeen and four. All right. Okay, but uh, you know, well, the most high says, well, in Baruch chapter 2, verse 30, we should remember ourselves in the captivity, and that's why Yahweh have some of our people among us, and, and our people are uh, the scattered on the world. He had them remember some parts, some parts of uh, their heritage, their customs, man. So we had when we uh when the most high put that spirit in us to remember, man, we have we have the evidence that what that we are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. All right. All right, and that's why another thing he has uh Esau to write these uh these books, man. All right, but I'm gonna get this quick right here. It says Proverbs 18 and 15, the heart of the prudent get knowledge, all right, and it in the ear of the wise, seek a knowledge, right? So it's our job as the Israelites to seek knowledge, man, because Esau, he's not going to tell you the truth, man. All right? He's not going to tell you the truth. All right? His job his, his his job to be what? A deceiver and a destroyer. All right? That's why he's called the man of prediction when you read in the book of Thessalonians. All right? It says Psalm uh, 64 and 8. All right? So when he write these... Uh, you know, I'm going to get this. I ain't want them to go ahead and bring it out. It says Psalm 64 a So they shall make their own tongue fall upon themselves, and all they see them shall flee away. Right? How they make their own tongue fall upon themselves? Because what Esau been going around the world, a lion saying that he's the chosen people. That's why they um, deemed themselves as white people in 1861 to have the fact that they are the, they are the, to have the fact they are the house of Edom when he's red. Right, they skin and translucent, they flesh and blood show through. All right, all right, because whiteness what means uh symbolic it means purity, man. All right, when you say white people, you think of what you think of a righteous people who are the righteous people of the Bible, the Israelites, the 12 tribes of Israel. All right, and he saw what Psalm 4 he make it tongue fall upon himself because what he been telling lies. Psalms 58 3 the wicked are strange from the womb, they go astray as soon as they be born and speak of lies. All right, lies. Okay, so Esau's job is to be a liar and deceiver. Okay, all right. And it says, what it says, um, job of you Israelites, all right, is to what study to what right here, all right, is what right here it says, um, let's see, let's see, study the lock, all right. All right, 
It says, uh, Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, Study to show thyself approved unto Yahweh, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightfully dividing the word of truth. All right. All right. So your job is to study, man. All right. That's your job, man, to study. All right. Because these people like Jake. Um, like enduring uh, slave and colonization times, so called Negroes, Latino, Native Americans. All right, what were they doing, man? They was what well, they was being diligent, what well, learning how to how to uh, how to read, man. So so they know what the hell was was um, basically to uh, have an advantage in Esau's system, man, and know what the what the hell was uh, um, what the hell was going on. All right. So it's our job in these times to to be diligent and, and study so we know what the hell is going on, man. All right, because right now this is uh, it's coming to what a second shutdown. Then what they gonna within six months they gonna minister within six months. Most likely they gonna minister the RFD chip, man. But they trying to Esau trying to chip the world. All right, but that's bigger part of your how was plan to bring us what fast into this kingdom, man. All right, so we get out this uh this prison which is called America. It said first there is only chapter five, verse twenty one. Prove all things, hold fast, as was just good. All right. So when you say you're Israelite, you got what? You got proved that what? That that you match the prophecies that's in Deuteronomy twenty eight, and you match the prophecies in the rest of the books that's that's uh um the rest of the books that's in, in the Bible, man. All right. And you got what? You gotta go on to history, man. Right, and you know, like I said, vocab job is not to tell you so called Negroes, Latino, Native Americans that you are the Israelites of the Bible and Edomites like him. Also, too, <laughs> you know, even though uh, these uh, Bishop Bacon's and and uh, um, uh, Deacon Demons, all right, <laughs> and preacher pork chops, you know, they jaw supposedly to be. Um, to tell you so-called Negroes, Latino, Native American, to your Israelites, but they're not gonna do that, man, because they on the, they in in the bed with uh, with uh, Esau, the so-called white man. All right. Also, uh, the so-called um, black, Latino, Native American, and speckled bird celebrities, man, they're not gonna tell you that because they in the day in the bed with Esau. All right. They in the bed with Esau. All right, so their job is to keep you, uh, um, to keep you blinded, man. All right, those Freemasons. All right, they just to uh, to keep you blind. All right, all right. So right here it says, uh, go right here. It says Isaiah twenty fourteen. Wherefore hear the word, Yahweh, ye scornful men that rule this people which is in Jerusalem, because you have said we have made a covenant with death, and with hell we are at agreement. When overflowing with scourge shall pass through us, shall shall not come unto us, for we have made lies our refuge, and under the falsehood we have hid ourselves. All right. All right, so the, the leaders are people, man, back in those times and today, man. They made a, a a covenant with who Esau, man. All right, Esau, so called white man, basically with death, man. All right, because Yahweh will give us what life. Esau, Esau, and and when you go into idolatry, you making deals with death, man. And with hell, we are at agreement. When overflowing a scourge shall pass through it, pass through it, it shall not come to us, for we have made our lives a refuge, and under falsehood we hid ourselves. All right. All right. So they hid. So our leaders hid themselves, and made these lies that you, you're African, that you come from the Barren Strait, or you, you're a Spaniard, you're a Spaniard from Spain, man. All right. Those, those are lies, man. All right. Let's see. All right. And see, you know, vocab, you know, they're not going to read. Now, this is from the times of Israel. All right. Like I said, brothers, you got to read the articles, man. 
right? This is from the Khazars, the Khazars man. Ashkenazi Jewish people, man. All right? I said, Psalm 648, their tongues will fall upon themselves. And then sometimes you saw he'll put a little lie, a little two in there, try to confuse you and stuff, right? Right, right here it said, Ghana's deep spirituality points. Some joyful back to Judaism, right? Law, statute, commandment, you know, sustained religion, Judaism. All right, so I read about this people in a previous video, all right? But it says right here, many Ghanaians from the Sufi tribe believe their ancestors was Jewish based on unique tradition, but it doesn't mean their religion journey is smooth, all right? And you brought us in uh, uh, um, over there, wherever you are, man. All right, where you here, where you overseas, man. You know, look, man, all you got to do is just read, uh, turn to the east, call upon Yahweh. Yahweh, I say Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the one everybody in here called Jesus. All right, confess, confess your uh, um, and ni your iniquities and your forefather iniquities, man. All right, you don't need to... Uh, you don't need uh, um, these Jewish people, man, to come back into the truth, man. Come back to your heavenly Father. All right. It's um, it says right. It said it's Shabbat afternoon, the outskirts of the Sufi whistle, in a small town south of Kornagan. The sun is so hot that all people can do is find a spot in the shade and wait for it to cool down. Six members of Ghana Jewish community sit on a porch at a gas. Um, prayer books open their laps. They've been debating for three hours with you don't say about someone who lives too far away from synagogue to walk. It's better to take a test. It does violate the Shabbat. <laughs> is it in order to attend the, uh, the synagogue? Or is it better to observe the issue of interpretation on Shabbat in keeping with the strict, strict of the Jewish law but missing the celebrated day as community? All right, boy. All right, we're in cat too, man. You know, keep the Shabbat perfect, man. man. All right, it says, uh, Ghana's Jewish community current numbers about 60 members, all Ghanaians from the Sufi tribe. Some scholars believe the Sufi tribe descended from the Jews who were expelled from the Iberian Peninsula in 1492 and made their way to Morocco. From Morocco, many Jews were involved in the trans Sahara trade, and there have been um, archaeological discoveries of the Jewish cemetery synagogues in countries like, like um, Mali and uh, Gambia. All right, so the Trans Sahara trade. All right, so let's see, Trans Sahara trade. All right, okay, yeah, Jay Day's involved in uh commercial, you know, um, um, in the trade, Trans Sahara trade, man. Sahara, all right. Sahara trade, all right. So they've been trading goods and everything, man. All right, so it's trade. All right, so I don't know what the hell is. Oh, okay, it's the news thing. All right, so we get to it all right here. All right. All right, so people that involved in sales, sales, hair trade. All right, come on. Sanchez right, trade required travel across the Sahara between the sub Sahara Africa and North Africa. All right, so while it's different from prehistoric time, the peak of trade is uh, extended from the 8th century into the early 17th century. The Sahara once had a different environment. All right, right here. All right, so he's involved with that. All right, see spread early trade. All right, let's see right here. So the trade route, they trade goods and everything, man. They also, they trade their own people, man. <laughs> That's just the truth. All right, so, you know, you got um, Jake like to try to, um, who, who you know, who like to, um, who, you know, who like to, um, all right, who, who like to, Bring up the fact that the the guy is the tribe of Gad, um, uh, the Cherokee, Chickasaw, uh, all Choctaw, all right, and uh, you know the rest of them they they had uh, Judah and slavery, man. But your own people they was they was doing it too, man. All right, <laughs> okay, all right, they was involved in that, man.
All right, that's part of curses, Deuteronomy uh, 28, 54, and then 20, Deuteronomy 28, 56, man. All right. Or the reverse, you know, uh, in Nordic Kingdom, so-called Latino, they rarely like to say, well, um, um, the, you know, the so-called Negroes, they were the Buffalo Soldiers, all right, and et cetera, et cetera, man. All right, but that's part of the curse of Deuteronomy 28 and 64, man. But see, they're not going to tell you that, uh, I don't see slavery among uh, indigenous people of the Americas. All right, I'm not going to tell you about that. All right. All right, so all this just part of the curses, man. All right. Let's see you on slate. Oh, come on, I brought this up, right? Let me see. Uh, let me see. Something was brought up about slavery in the Pacific North. Right, uh, Let's see slavery on the indigenous people, man. Let's see Pacific Northwest. Yeah, here go right here. The, uh, let me see how I pronounce it. The Tinglet get Costa Tishimon. Tishimon. All right. So, a lot of somebody in, in the uh, comment board put the correct pronunciation. All right. It says the Haida, the New Kanu, the Tinglet and Costa Tishimon. Other tribes who lived along the Pacific Northwest coast were traditionally known as fierce warriors and slave traders, raiding, raiding as far as California and also among neighboring people, particularly the coast of Southern tribe. Slavery was hereditary with new slave dream, being prisoners of war, catching for the purpose of trade and status. Among some Pacific North tribes, about a quarter population were slaves. All right, so yeah. let's see what this takes. All right, here, all right, so let's go to the one to the different things. All right. Let me see, among indigenous people. And it says, other slave on society tribes, new world example was the Te Luce of Pantinga, Pantinga down. That's, that's, um, that's uh, Chile to Argentine. All right, that's Natal. The Comanche of Texas, Gad. The Caribbean, Dominica. The Tupanamba, Brazil. The sites that drew to live along the coast was now Lassa to California. The Pawnee, Klamath. Many indigenous people of the Pacific Northwest, such as the Hague and the were traditionally known as fierce war slave trade, as far as California. I read that. All right. Uh, uh, all right, so. Yeah, man. All right, so that's part of the curses, man. All right, Nordic Kingdom slave other Nordic Kingdom, Southern Kingdom is slave other Southern Kingdom. All right, Southern Kingdom is slave and uh, 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 oppressing and slave and uh, um, the Nordic Kingdom, Nordic Kingdom is slave in the Southern Kingdom, man, as part of the curses, man. All right, Deuteronomy 28, 54, 56. All right. So, uh, Let's get back to this article right here, all right? So it says, um, all right, well, I, all right, right here it says, but I believe they, this is older, but it's, it's possible chance that some jakes from, um, uh, uh, that was kicked out of Spain and, um, 
came among them. All right. You know, um, uh, get this. Let me see. Uh, this is page 129 from the book from Babylon 10, book two. It says whenever Christian Jews could escape from Spain and Portugal beyond the reach of Inquisition, they threw off the guise of Christianity and practiced Judaism openly as they did in Turkey. However, the unfortunate new Christians, nominal Christians or secret Jews in Portuguese possession possessions in Western Africa, India and elsewhere could not throw off the, the disguise of Christianity. The Inquisition even dispatched its inquis, um, inquis, inquis, um, inquisitorial agents to the Canary Islands, Mandira, Guyana, India, South America, St. Tom, Angola in order to search out secret Jews. From 1561 to 1623, about 3,800 visual tribes, many of them were Christian Jews from St. Tom Island, and they were charged with maintaining Jewish principles. Siva Roll wrote that Christian Jews immigrated to Portuguese colony Angola in West Africa, where Asian Inquisition was sent to hunt them out in 1626. So, you know, so where our people go, man, they, uh, you know, get, if they could, man, they get rid of that uh, plantation Christianity, man. So it's a chance that they, these, uh, some of our people from Spain, Portugal, had met up with Jake in uh, Ghana, man. That's a possibility, man, because I knew an uh, Igbo woman. All right. And, uh, you no, know, she's no longer on YouTube. I forgot her name. Anyway, she told me that her people consisted of uh, Portuguese Jews, then, you know, Jake in Nigeria. All right. Then uh, a few the Egyptians. All right. all right. That's what she told me herself, man. She's Igbo. All right. All right. So, you know, all right. So right here it says, um, from Morocco, many Jews were involved in the trans saharan trade, and there had been archives discovered a Jewish cemetery right here. So there go the evidence right here. Those who like to say, well, there's no archaeological discoveries in West Africa to prove that the people in West Africa are, are Israelites. All right, here we go right here. It said there have been archaeological discoveries of Jewish cemeteries in synagogues in countries like Mali and Gelman. Because you forget that some dates are descendants. From the from the uh the Israelites that was that was um kicked out of Spain to Portugal, they journeyed to what's after what to dwell among their brother. All right, it said the Sufi believed that their ancestors were Jewish, though through centuries of assimilation they lost the name Judaism, but they had maintained many traditions mirrored those of Judaism. Yeah, man, he had some tribes, even though I remember Jacob's on the run being persecuted and everything, and you know um. Um, they then they had a Torah, so I had to do it by what by orally, man. All right, he said the house of Israel congregation. All right, but all right, so I read that before. All right, but you could read the rest yourself. All right, all right, so you know, you got the traditions and everything, man. All right, now, um, let's see, go right here. All right, but anyway, uh. Go to Kalanu. Let's 
ですねなそこでウェブサイト。Like I said, you need to go to sites like this, man. All right, to do this proof vocab alone. Now, watch this. I'm going to go to the Philippines. All right. Plug up this phone. All right. All right. All right. Ethiopia. No, they want that. All right, go to the Philippines. All right. All right so it says Philippines. It says right here.、Um, The Jewish community in the Philippines is a very old, diverse group. A group in the v i s a y a s archipelago is a lost tribe descended from Jews who arrived in the 13th century. All right, so right here, I got a、uh, set Rabbi Avram. Consulzer Brownie holds a total donated by Kaluna in 2019. All right, all right, so two Jakes right there. All right, it says, um, Their language, their language shares several fascinating links with Hebrew and a group which, is, which has taken a call in itself Balik. Balik Hebrew is currently experiencing a renaissance. The Philippines also has a growing community of Bana Anusum Jews forcibly convert to Christianity during the Spanish Inquisition. I just read that, right? A lot of people. Persecuted by Spanish Inquisition. It says that Spain began to colonize the Philippines in the 16th century. During the 1500s, Benet and Nuzan arrived as colonizers, secretly keeping many Jewish customs. Today, there are also mainstream establishing communities in the Philippines, particularly in Manila. Finally, a growing k n o h a w movement has emerged across the archipelago. Some k n o h a w communities have sought conversion of Jewish practice and adopted. h o r r e n d o u s form of Jews. I ain't no such thing, no h i d e all that, man. If you're an Israelite, man, just, just turn to the east, call upon Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. All right, confess your, 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 trend and,、uh, your transgressions, man. You don't have to go through all this stuff. It's something Esau made up, man. All right, there ain't no no h i d e in a, in, in a、uh, Tanakh, all right. It said, k a l u n a works closely with the、uh, Kwahela ben Israel, ben Israel, a community in General Santo City founded in 1996. Who led to the day by Rabbi Abraham c o n s i d e r e d Brown as 2020, coined numbers about 1514, being a news of families. Kaluna has supported 
The Jin Salto community since 2009 to provide a financial support to Senegal of Kina has donated Toro prayer books and Kamash paintings. All right. So you have Rael, the southern king among uh, the the Eta, the Negritos, all right, and the Philippine both groups are Israelites, man. All right, so you brought us this, come to the truth, and you know in the Philippines you're you're Israelite either way, man. You come from the southern king that came there, or you the uh, Eta Negritos in the Philippines, man. All right. So let's see right here. Uh, you know what? Let's go to Puerto Rico. All right. Let me see. Yep, Puerto Rico is home to one of Coluna's newest partner communities, which came to us in last week, August 2018. This small community named Congresia, Congresia, Alpha's Torah de Puerto Rico claimed descendancy from the crypto Jews who was established a decade ago by Rabbi Larry Goldstein, a friend Coluna who passed away four years ago. They currently study with rabbis in New Jersey via Skype and visit the community. They meet various members home. They are, they are struggling to survive after Hurricane Maria 2017. All right, so that's the southern king among uh, Ephraim. All right, Ephraim is the uh, the Tainos I watched throughout the Caribbean islands except for um Cuba and the Dominican Republic. Cuba is uh Manessa, the American Republic is uh Simeon, all right. All right, but the rest of the islands that's um Ephraim, all right. All right, so but this is the uh the crypto Jews, all right. So they from the Southern Kingdom, all right. All right, so uh let's go down here, Peru. Where Peru at? All right. Let's see what it says about Peru. Anything, uh, see this link take take us. Let's take us along. So I'm gonna click off here. Alright. Let's go to Nicaragua. Alright. Madagascar, right? Yes, the island all South East Africa. Right. Yeah, let me see. Uh, read the rest of the book two by two. I'm not gonna be doing all these links and stuff, man. Going to the thing. I'm trying to find some of the article at. All right. Let me see. Ecuador. You know what? I'm going to go to. Uh, let's see. Can't get much information about them. All right. But let me see. The main Republic of Congo. All right. I saw it in Africa. Uh, all right, right here said Dominican Republic of the Congo, the Dominican Republic of Congo, Luba tribe follows a strong conservative practice. We were introduced community to Gershon Nodua, another friend of Kaluna, the founder and president of the Federation. This this Jews North in France, all right. Basically, uh, dark skinned Jews, all right, so called black Jews, all right, not black, <laughs> we're brown, all right. It's according to uh, Kabuk, uh, Kabuka, Kabukia, one of the most, one of the leaders of the Jewish community, members of the Luba tribe are the Jews. It says here, members of the Luba tribe are the Jews of the Congo. Though it's a larger tribe, members of Luba are aware of their Jewish roots. Right, most feel disconnected and fearful of diving into their own heritage. The religious environment here in the Congo is not very open to anything other than Christianity, so they feel trapped. All right, it said, uh, uh, Kabuk, um, 
Kabukia continues, however, when you talk one on one with the people, they do admit want to learn more about you. They want to learn laws, statutes, commandments, all right? They hunger for learn the truth, all right? It says, Some are shy, but come to attend Jewish holidays. About 15 to 20 families join together at the time. Others are passionate about their Jewishness, but may not be Jewish and open as they live with Christian parents. Quite a few decide they want to convert to Jews. Like I said, no sense they ain't converting. It was like, all right. It said, while we consider ourselves a conservative community, we sometimes attend service, but Bet Yaku Kanisha would follow the condensed practice. We are connected to Jewish groups outside of Congo, such as the Federation, the Jews North, and France, and others. All right. So it's Jake in the, um, in the Congo. All right. And uh, if you, matter of fact, if you go to um, my site, um, let me see, let's see, I'm on the end. Let me see. Uh, let me see, I'll compare this up. There's like so far. Region I had post on uh, the video. Uh, these guys, man. <laughs> All right, you see, uh, you know, I'm just gonna go to my site. All right, let's see, are you uh, and dynasty? All right. Here you go, right here in the video. All right. You post African language compared to Hebrew. So it's like, right, because so most of the groups in Africa, those are Israelites. All right. Thank <laughs> you. 
So there you go, man. You see some of the, the words, uh, the Bantu, Bantu words, man, and, and uh, Africa. All right. The similarities to Lashwanko Dash, man. So, you know, that's why, the, uh, um, like I said, the Catholic Church had gave instruction to the slave traders in West Africa what to speak Aramaic and Hebrew. Because these people, they were speaking, uh, someone was speaking broken Hebrew, some were actually speaking Hebrew, man. All right, we'll prove that the so-called Negroes, West Indian, so-called Haitian, are, are the Israelites from the Southern Kingdom, man. This is, you. This is evidence you can't deny, man. And this you, you brought us. You need to when you get into discussions with with the Edomites, man. It's particularly these these uh, Jewish people, man. You need to bring this 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 evidence up, man. The language, the customs, all right. What they own people had had found it, all right. They made their tongues fall upon themselves. It's Psalm sixty-four and eight, all right. What you need to do, man. All right. All right. Let's go back to here. All right. So, uh, let me see. Uh, it's an interest on Cote d'Ivoire. All right. They had to say, New Beers Lace already been through there, man. All right. So, they've been pricing more than, than, than that, man. But, uh, some, I think it was another article. Uh, now this is the second group of interest in right here. It says right here it says another group explored in Judaism and Cote d'Ivoire are the Danites. The Danites are a local ethnic group, number about two million, some of whom claim descent from the tribe of Dan. Their traditional clothing seems to just talent prayer shawls with some taking the sign of Jewish origin. They had circumcision, though belief in their Israelite religion is widespread. Most Danites are Christian or Muslim, and a relatively small group is interested in exploring practice of Judaism, meaning the laws, statutes, commandments. They have also they have already received an Israeli dedication to investigate their claim of Jewish origin, and a documentary movie has been made by journalist David uh, Sersman. All right, so these are a group of Danites, man. You know, people like to say, "What about the tribe of Dan? You go travel Dan over there, you go visit them, man." All right, and and you know we don't know if we don't get Trevor Dan among us over in Americas, man. All right, Dan gonna be all right, man. All right, Dan gonna be okay. All right, at the end we'll when we get in the kingdom, man, we'll we'll find out all the information about Dan, man. All right, all right. So uh, all right, let's go to China. All right. Was the you know, brothers in China look at our videos? All right, Kaifeng Jewish people. All right, see all the information, see all the different pictures they send in gods and everything, man. All right, they look like um, Moab because they mix with Moab. All right, let's see right here, man. See a good close picture of them. Ah, damn, damn it. <laughs> I'm trying to get it where. Uh, all 
That's a cold picture on this bro. Alright, those pictures all them. Alright. Alright, that little community, right? Kai Fang community. Alright. That's why I said go Esau right there, man. I tell you, Jake's man. <laughs> Don't marry Esau, man. Jake's another part of the world, man. You know, you know marry them, man. Let's see if I get a picture. I can't get a bad picture on, right? But all the information is here. All right. These are his likes, man. These are the ones that Moab is oppressing in China. All right, they closed down their cultural center, man. They can't do it. They, 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 you know, a few of the people that was trying to bring our people in China back today, uh, try to teach them the truth, man. The, you had some two thirds among them that told the damn more by authorities on them, man. And they had to flee the country, man. That's all. I, you two thirds, man. I can't stand you, man. You ain't no two thirds. You, you the two thirds, man. All right. There, you know, you yeah, as an individual among our people trying to wake our people up in, in China, you're going to call the Moabite policemen on them, man. Right, so let's go to, uh, let me see. Let's see what's up in Cameroon. All right. Let's see what it says about that. All right. All right. Read about that. All right. All right so let's see. Colombia. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's say not much about them. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Gabon. Let's see what Gabon said. All right. See what it says about them. Uh, all right, they say that young group, but we all know Israelites been in Gabon. All right, uh, what else? All right, let's see. We already know about Nigeria. Let's go to Suriname. Suriname, all right. Not that much about them. Alright, so wait a minute. Hold on. They got saying something on uh, interest. Let's see Tanzania. Jake got some people, uh, people wake up in Tanzania, right? But they get into Amalek, man. They do things, man. Like, <laughs> all right. Um, let me see. Let me see under the African radar. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, what that leads to. Well, we don't need that. All right, so we get out of there. Let's see. Let's see, let's go to an article, PD. Let's see what they say. Uh... Oh, here you go, right here. All right, so it says Tanzania. All right, it says, um... let me get this close. This All right, here you go, right here. It says, the man who lead the Jewish community in Arusha, Tanzania, when you conjure up Mount Kima, Kimajaro, all right, in a segregated desert, it's hard to picture a Jewish community residing nearby, and yet they are Maya, uh, Maya not Ye, Yehuda, Maya Yehuda, all right, community, all right, some of Yehuda, man, all right, all right, in the southern kingdom, all right, Yahawada, Slak is Yahawada, all right, it says basically Jew, right? it says community of of Arusha, 
Tanzania um, not only sending people strong, their leader Perez uh, Parpea is so committed, guy in the the Torah true ways that he learned six days a week with Rabbi Yermakil, Yer Lady and Passing New Jersey, Landy of Passing New Jersey, all right? So you got uh, some jakes from Yahawada, all right? That's how Craig pronounced it, all right? Yahawada, 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 all right? The Southern Kingdom, all right? In English, it's on um, Judah, but correctly, it's Yahawada, all right? It says, while Perel lives in Arusha province, about 75 miles from Kenyan border, his Jewish community is surrounded by Muslims and Christian missionaries. It has been for generations as the current population are descendants of Yemenite and Morocco Jews who moved there in the 1800s. All right. So the two custodian communities, since Perez was young, were Perez's father and a scholar who taught Torah. But Perez's father passed away, and a Torah teacher silently sold his farm and disappeared. And said, Well, out there, long time leaders, a Torah destroyed in 1970, and fights between the Christian evangelists and the Jewish community. Oh, damn Christians. All right, it says, Or a synagogue nationalized and turned to a church. They were at a loss how to continue. It said, Papa had a vision of faith, a deep seated commitment to his community, conviction to move it forward on a visible need to learn. And a term professor on Logan University, uh, Papa had some Jewish education. He felt limited. He reached out to a partner in Torah to find a mentor to guide on the role lead of Jewish community, Arusha. Papa and his study partner, Rabbi um, Yerbuch Landy, only skipped their regular learning on Sabbaths. Otherwise, their daily learning from dark concealed Jewish law, partial, mid-trust, Hebrew. I am now stronger, more confident in my knowledge of Spain. For real, when I teach, I assume that I'm teaching the right thing. Rabbi Lanny is planning a trip to visit Papyrus community and visit. Eagerly awaited is it will be great when he comes. We will be honored so we have no rabbi's community. I am the only rabbi in my community. All right. All right, so it goes from Jake's in Tanzania, all right? But you had Jake's older than it, living in Tanzania, probably older than that, man. Older than that, man, because you got a brother teaching Tanzania, man, all right? And those the send a little Jake's from Yemen. Yeah, Mor yeah, Morocco, all right? All right, but I'm going to end it right here. Um, shalom.